Today I'm going to show you a few little nifty tricks that I use and uh, I'm going to share them with you. One is, I've showed this one before. If you put games in your unsorted folder, that'll be the first folder that you pop back to when you quit to the main GUI. So anything to the left or right of that is easily accessible. But I like to keep the games that I predominantly play at any immediate time right in the unsorted folder. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to add the same ROM set more than once. I've done this with Double Dragon. I had the exact same ROM set three times over. And certain games throughout the last 20 plus years in arcade ROM set history have pretty much maintained the same ROM set integrity wise. Uh, Bad Dudes, Double Dragon, a few like this have pretty much kept that standard. Anyways, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this, but we have Double Dragon for Final Burn Alpha. We're going to test this. And it says Final Burn Alpha. We got that running fine. Now we're going to see if it runs in Final Burn Alpha 2012. And that's working fine. Name 2003. That's working fine. Now the next trick I'm going to show you is how to use 7-zip compression with arcade games. And unfortunately, only Final Burn Alpha, Final Burn Alpha 2012, and Final Burn Alpha Neo, etc. support this compression. If you have zip games, they're going to have to run through MAME 2003 or the Final Burn Alpha equivalents. Anyways, I took uh, one of the bigger games, Metal Slug 4. I have it at 59.2 megabytes with zip compression, and I have it preset to run with MAME 2003. That's 59.2 megabytes. I shrunk it down with 7-zip to 44.9 megabytes, and th that works through the Final Burn Alpha variants only. Anyways, the other thing I'm going to show you today is the really cool Unibio setup, and I've done a standard version with the Neo Geo BIOS as you've known them, and I've also merged the Unibios into the Neo Geo BIOS as a separate install if you'd like to try these out. And these will not work with MAME 2003 or MAME 2010, they will only work with Final Burn Alpha. Anyways, we're going to load uh, Metal Slug 4, and we're going to use the Unibios with it. And Metal Slug 4, Metal Slug 5, some of the larger games, they take a little bit to initialize the ROM set, so it seems like they're not really loading, but they really are. So we're going to wait till we can pull up the RetroArch options. And I'm not quite there yet. It would seem like the game's not working because it's taking longer to load, but this is how it's always been, unless you have a really good computer. So I have my splash screen for the Unibios right there. I'm going to my quick menu options, and you can see I have it selected here already. Anyways, I'm going to pull up the option for Unibios, which would be holding A, B, and C together and pushing start. And we get these little nifty options. We get a cheat database, debug dips, settings, patch memory, and soft reboot system. I'm going to pull up the cheat database. And I'm going to give myself uh, auto fire for the hell of it. And then I'm going to exit out with the C button. Exit out again, then I'm going to just play the game and see if I have auto fire enabled. Okay. And I have auto fire, we have success. Now I'm going to switch over to the computer and show you how you get add multiple ROM sets. And obviously with Double Dragon, you could do a, a 7-zip version as well. So I have right here, for instance, I have my Metal Slug 4, which is 7-zipped. Then I have Metal Slug 4, which is zipped. Now what I'd like to do, if you want to add the same ROM set more than once, and here's where you're going to see how I did it. I'm going to go into my games folder. I'm going to pull up D-Dragon. See my results here. The ROM sets are the same, but inside I did one thing distinctly different, as you will see here. I put a little text file in there. And you can name it whatever you want. I did dummy 7. So it's my 7 dummy text. 
So I have that one. Then I'll open up the next one. Dummy six. So this ROM set all the way through here is identical. And by adding this, when you archive it into Hashi, it's going to reject it and just redo it over again. But if you had one little thing, like a, almost like a virus, an intrusive virus in a way, it'll see it as an entirely new archive and you could add the same ROM set more than once. You could do this with NES as well. So I hope that helps and there will be more videos to come, guys.